This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the signal recognition particle? Answer, the signal recognition particle is an abundant cytosolic ribonucleoprotein that traffics the polypeptide ribosome complex from the cytosol to the RER. Question, what happens when the SRP is absent or dysfunctional? Answer, when the SRP is absent or dysfunctional, it leads to accumulation of protein in the cytosol. Question, what is the function of SRP? Answer, the function of SRP is to traffic the polypeptide ribosome complex complex from the cytosol to the RER. Question, how does SRP facilitate the protein synthesis? Answer, SRP facilitates the protein synthesis by recognizing and binding to the signal sequence of a nascent polypeptide as it emerges from the ribosome and directing it to the RER for further processing and folding. Question, what are the consequences of SRP dysfunction? Answer, the consequences of SRP dysfunction can include the accumulation of protein in the cytosol and the impairment of protein synthesis. Question, how common is SRP dysfunction? Answer, the prevalence of SRP dysfunction is not well established, but it can occur in certain genetic and acquired disorders. Question, what are the structural components of SRP? Answer, SRP is composed of two subunits, the SRP RNA and the SRP protein. The SRP protein contains an N-terminal domain that binds the signal sequence of the nascent polypeptide and a C-terminal domain that binds the SRP RNA. Question, how does SRP interact with the RER? Answer, SRP binds to the signal sequence of the nascent polypeptide as it emerges from the ribosome and then interacts with the RER through a receptor protein called the SRP receptor. This interaction leads to the targeting of the polypeptide ribosome complex to the RER for further processing and folding. Question, how does SRP recognize the signal sequence? Answer, SRP recognizes the signal sequence through its N-terminal domain, which binds the hydro phobic amino acids of the signal sequence. This interaction leads to the targeting of the polypeptide ribosome complex to the RER. Question, are there any diseases that are associated with SRP dysfunction? Answer, yes, certain genetic and acquired disorders can be associated with SRP dysfunction. Examples include some forms of congenital dyserythropoietic anemia and the acquired disorder called liver cirrhosis. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.